Hey, how's it going? Today we're gonna go over how to draw Bowser Jr. from Super Mario, I'm oh, sorry, Super Smash Brothers Melee. Uh, it's that version where he's like in a pod. I mean, there's a couple of versions like that, but I'm gonna draw him in the pod. So we're gonna go over this step-by-step -step for beginners. Uh, love Nintendo and uh, yeah. Uh, you can grab a marker or a pen or whatever it is that you want to do this with. I would recommend a marker though, because it's just, uh, I don't know, it forms cleaner lines, I think, when you're doing quick drawings like this. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this ugly piece of paper below that because I see some marks underneath. So I'm um, using computer paper, by the way. First thing I do is I'm going to draw a curved for his nose. So Essentially what that is, is like, it looks like it's almost like a closed C, like this letter C almost, almost closed. Gonna pull a mark over here for the edge of the smile, uh, you know? I'm gonna pull down from the corner of his mouth and I'm gonna try to end up about here. I'm gonna even mark it because I wanna I wanna hit that pretty much. So I'm gonna pull a curved line like so, right? And I wanna hit that mark, kind of like toward the front of the bottom of that C. I'm gonna throw two little nostril shapes at the top. One, two, and this little just like two dots. I'm gonna throw right here a triangle for the kind of a fang shape that he has. And I'm gonna throw a line over here, uh, over here, which is just a hump, which is, you know, the tongue, obviously. I'm gonna fill in this space in the back and that's gonna be a negative space, really it's the inside of his mouth. Pulling a line right here for the front lower portion of his mouth. I'm gonna pull this shape a little bit lower here before I start this, and I'm gonna start a curve, which is gonna go kind of a, like I said, a hump. And we're gonna throw the hump first. See, we're gonna do it in stages. Pull that hump here, and then I'm gonna pull that down and connect it. Right there. Just so we can do it in pieces. You don't have to pull that scary, uh, essentially curve uh, stroke. All right, now I'm gonna, uh, right above this dip, I'm gonna throw a dot for the eye. And then I'm gonna throw another dot for the far side eye, but it's, you're not gonna see the entire dot. That's kind of long too. It's not, it's kind of like an egg or something, like an egg shape if you were to really zoom in on it. Then I'm gonna throw an eye, kind of the eyebrow right here on this side and eyebrow on the other side. I'm gonna pull that shape out and that's gonna have two prongs. So let's draw like a, almost like a V at the end of it. It's gonna have two prongs at the end of that. Same thing on the far side one. If you need to pause and rewind, definitely do that. Uh, you know, this is at your own pace. Do whatever pace you want. I'm trying to take it slow. Uh, if I'm too slow, forgive me. But uh, I, I think he's a little bit more complicated than a couple of other ones. So I'm gonna pull a line right here. I'm gonna start a little bit in front, front of his eye because I'm gonna try to get that bald head. He's not totally bald, sorry, that's a mistake. And I'm gonna pull it over here. So I'm marking out, I like to mark where I'm gonna land. So I'm gonna pull a line here. That's the front of his head. I'm gonna curve that on the top. Got the top of his head. And then I'm gonna go come out the back. And so now you have that egg shape, but it's behind those eyebrows. Okay. And let's uh, draw, we're gonna draw, he has like a ponytail. So we're gonna draw like a squared tube at the top. And then I'm gonna throw a, almost looks like a paintbrush. I'm gonna throw a curve, another curve. 
another curve. Right, and he got this kind of cool, almost like little flame thing going on, but he's got like a ponytail sticking out. And he has a horn sticking out the side of his head, so I am going to do that. It's just a triangle right here, shape. And then on the triangle, I'm gonna put a line through the center of it. He's wearing a bib in this. Uh, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw a curved line the far side below his mouth. Draw another one coming out there because we're drawing like a kind of folded up napkin around his, uh, his waist or whatever you call it. Not waist, around his neck. Sorry, what's wrong with me? I'm gonna pull another curve back here for the napkin kind of bunching up, pulling in here. Uh, I'm gonna throw a, a ball, like a curve, and that's gonna be like kind of the bundling up of a knot for the back of his napkin there, for the apron. I'm gonna pull almost like a, like a fire shape, like a candle wick shape, you know? And then I'm gonna pull a line in the, in the middle of it. So that's the ends of this like handkerchief, essentially, that he has on. And then I'm gonna duplicate that exact same shape behind that, because you're tying two ends of like a handkerchief together or bib or whatever. I guess it's a handkerchief. Uh, now I'm gonna find his arm. His arm right here is gonna be sticking out, pulling down. So that's like a tube, essentially, his arm. Drawing that wristband, which is really just kind of a, um, what do you call it, like a square for the most part. And then I'm gonna draw a curve here for one finger, curve here, curve here. So we got his three fingers back of his hand, close these off, and I'm gonna throw spikes at the end of those. And he's gonna be grabbing onto the edge of his of his ship or his uh, pod or whatever. I'm gonna draw a straight line across before I connect this. So straight line, straight. I'm gonna to try to see, I'm gonna continue the straight line. I'm gonna pull this downward because he's sitting in that pod now. I'm gonna pull a curve around here. And so that's gonna simulate kind of the edge of the pod he's sitting in. And before I do anything else, I wanna draw his shell, which is really gonna make up, right, the big part of his, his bulk here. So, uh, right here we have, I'm gonna pull a line for that white part of the outer shell. You know, like the kind of the rim. It looks like a tube in itself. I throw a line in here for the end of the bib. I'm gonna throw, now I'm gonna throw a, you know, curve for the bulbous part of the shell. Spikes. So right there, just a triangle shape. You can throw two, sometimes you can throw three if you want. I'm just gonna throw two, and I'm also gonna put that line through it because that's kind of the, his design. So now I can find the back end of this ship. So I'm gonna keep pushing through and I'm gonna find the back end of this pod now. So it'll look like it makes sense that he fits in it. Uh, I'm gonna pull the line down here, a line down here. And I'm gonna throw a curved line which mirrors essentially this slight curve. It's a slight curve. Is it with his pod. He's kind of aiming forward into it, so that's kind of why it's it's aiming that way. And so I'm gonna draw a circle shape. This is gonna be hard, actually, this one. So I'm gonna mark it. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna curve up this far. Like, it's gonna be pretty big. It's about, the, it could be more or a little bit more, a little bit less than the length of him. So I could probably pull it down here, actually. And I'm gonna pull a curved line there. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. And pull a curved line there. That's probably the scariest curve in the entire drawing. So kind of be, keep aware of that. You know how big that bulb, don't make it too small. If anything, make it too big. 
if you're gonna err on anything, uh, err, err on making it too big, if anything. Because I think if it looks too small, it's just weird. So on the bottom, we're gonna draw a propeller. So we're gonna draw like a little curve shape for the center. And I'm gonna draw almost like a bow, right? That's almost what it looks like. It's just a curved line. And that's really the propeller at the bottom. Uh, don't worry, we're almost done. I know it's probably, you know, kinda, it's a long one, sorry. Uh, then we're gonna draw a dot for the eye because there's like a, almost like a clown shape on it. So, and it's just a dot. And it, since we're doing this in black and white, there's two tiny dots next to the eye. Normally it's like two red ones, but. And then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna draw a curved line for the mouth. And the mouth is essentially like, I don't know, like a tube, like a hot dog shape. Yeah. And that is it. That is it. If you got to that, you are amazing. You can draw the backhand as well if you want. If you, you can draw his arm on the ledge over here. I'm just putting, that's supposed to indicate like his arm grabbing onto the ledge. You can do another one where his hand's sticking out or, um, but yeah, that is it. That is a black and white version of, of Koopa. Let me see if I'm missing anything. No, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you really want, you can throw a thicker line around the entire contour, but that's up to you. That's a style thing. You can kind of deepen in some of these lines. Uh, and that is it. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the next video if you enjoyed that. That took a lot of work actually on my part even to kind of like verbalize that. <laughs> uh, if you like that, do me a huge favor. If you find me worth your time, subscribe. Also share the video. When you share the video, it brings a lot of energy to the channel. And I just love it. It brings it just brings the channel up every time you share it with one person or you share it on social media. Thank you so much. I will talk to you in the next video. See you soon.